Hello guys, it's the inspector back with you for another a quick shave. It's Thursday evening, you know, so I have like a good three, four days growth on my face. There's times when, you know, you just want to do a quick shave and, uh, but you want to sort of do it, you know, in your own way. And let me adjust the camera here on my stand. Um, you know, and there's so many, I have so many options, but, you know, uh, being the travel season, you guys are going on vacation whatsoever, and you're saying, what do I bring on the travel shape as a razor? Well, you can get a DE. If you're traveling on a plane, you have to pack it in your, your checked bag with your blades and all that stuff. If you're traveling, you know, by car, you can use anything you want. Um, I'm gonna go back being today, I'm just gonna, the season, go with the uh, bevel disposable. Now Supply has just come out with their disposable. Looks like they're, so like their SCE razors and it's a single edge. And we'll do a review on that when I get it. Um, but this is the bevel DE, okay? It comes with a cap, which is great for travel. Shaves just like a DE, it's made of uh, um, decomposable uh, materials, okay? So, and somewhere down the line, I saw when you can change the blade on this thing, by prying it open. I haven't done that yet, but I'll at some point after I get like four or five shaves on this or whatever, I'll try to see if it works. Uh, but we're gonna go with quick shave. Now, when you're on vacation or something, you want a quick shave, you get a brushless uh, cream. Um, you can get a tube cream and just get a brush and do a face lather, whatever you wanna do. Um, I'm going to go tonight with, got this online about six months ago, Illegal Shave Cream. It's by Derm Dude. It's their MVP scent. Doesn't have much of a scent, but boy, is this stuff slick. Eight ounces. Um, I forgot what it costs. I think it was like 18 bucks or something like that, but um, slick as hell, you know, for a non-lathering, you know, non-brush a brushless type cream sometimes you want that okay be open to stuff um whatever it is whatever works for you do it okay um so i'm gonna do a quick shave here i'm gonna wash my face out i have my magno soap Great scent. Stuff is like last forever. Uh, look at that Magno. I think it's from Spain or Portugal. So, so you want to hydrate the face, wash it out real good. Get those oils off of your face. Okay, if you're that's if you're not coming out of the shower. All right, so we're gonna give it a couple of pumps here. I have this much. We'll see how this does. We can always add more. And I'm no pre-shave, I'm just gonna work this way. And see how it goes. All right. And you can always, what I like to do, here it's pretty, a little bit thick, but you can always just, we're gonna add a touch of water. Just flicking that up a bit. All right, that helps. And as you can see, it's not bad. Uh, you know? As you guys know by now, I'm open to 
any and everything, you know, about wet shaving. You know, it doesn't have to be artisan creams. It could be foam, whatever. Um, because, you know, you guys just keeping your mind open to anything that may work for you, okay? Doesn't mean you have to buy what I buy, but, you know, if it looks good, you might want to try it. Hey, I'm a hobbyist, so that's the way I roll. Okay, so double edge. We're going to heat the blade and uh, we'll see how this does. I think it's the second shave on this thing. All right. And right away, it's very mild, but it feels it's so solid. It, people say, oh, it's, it's really light. And yeah, it's light, but I don't feel that it doesn't shave that way. If I can explain it the right way. Um, you can get five of these on Amazon. I think it's under nine bucks right now, last time I checked. So, not bad, okay? And at a time, we're gonna see if we can, we can replace the blade on this. If it works, hey, that's even a plus, okay? But it's very smooth. It's not aggressive and bevel I think has done a great thing with this thing like I said we'll try the supply version when I get it but uh, you don't want to travel with the DE on a plane um, this is a good option for you just saying Okay, little rinse. Yeah, this isn't gonna foam up. But, I just got myself here because of user error, but that's okay. You know why? For travel, you always want to have a very small, small stiffic pencil here because I've had this, used it for about two years now, and it's dwindled down to almost nothing. I will replace it after the shave, pretty much, okay? So, just rub it in. You always want to have a styptic pencil with you, I think, when you travel. Um, that's just my point, my viewpoint on this, guys. So, all right, want to dry that off. And you can see it's dissipated up here, but it still works. It still works. So we're gonna go down. Feels just like a, a DE, but you know, it's light, but it doesn't feel light on the, you know what I'm saying? It's, it plays big, as I say. Uh, decomposable material, but it's it feels really very stable, very solid on the skin, right? And that's just the way I see it. Okay. Rub some of that in here. All right. So, you know, rinse her. You do want to rinse this this uh, disposable out just like any other razor. You can see very, not very, 
not very aggressive. So we're gonna give it a rinse, first pass. Excellent. And for a second pass, yeah, we'll, we'll add some more. Why not? Okay, so we'll work that in. You don't have to use as much, but just want to get a good slickness on it. Ah. Okay. All right, we'll heat the blade up and then we'll just uh, do a, an against the grain pass. Nice and easy. You don't have to press with this, just, just let it right on your skin and right across, right? This is a very easy shave. For me, with this, I know when I used it first, I said, yeah, this is, this is excellent. Um, not only design of the razor, but a quality blade. All right. I'm going to go up here. You don't see much cream, but their slickness is there. And in the end, guess what? It may not look the way you usually, you know, do it traditionally with a proper soap, but it it does the job. All right. Very nice. No issues with this blade. It's just so smooth on the skin. Bevel. Bevel disposable. Look it up on Amazon, it'll come right up for you. All right, we'll do our thing up here. You guys want a quick, easy 10 minute shave type of thing, whether you're traveling or at home, doesn't matter. All right. Switch it around, the other side. It feels very safe on the skin if you pay attention, half attention to what you're doing. All right. Beyond that, it's just user error if you cut yourself or weepers or whatever. No big deal. All right. I'll shut this thing off here. We're going to go across here. And then straight up. All right, so I really should have shaved a couple of days ago. I like to shave every other day, but sometimes, guys, it just gets away from you. And I like to really do as much video as I can when I shave. If I don't, I wind up posting things to the, the forums that you guys are on. Um, and post it to Instagram or whatever. Because I, I like to, I like to do it. So, decent slickness here, but it's drying up. So, I'll go up to the top here. Very st stable, solid, mild, non-threatening type of blade. Um, I find it excellent. Just saying. Now, you guys know from time to time, I'll do giveaways. Sometimes I'll message certain people and send them stuff, whatever. But um, recently I got a request. Can you send me any free stuff? And no, the answer is, is going to be no. And I will not answer back because 
with me it's my choice and I'm pretty generous when I do give away stuff but um, I'll give away stuff on my own terms and if I'm not giving it away it'll be on the forums for a price and it's totally in my hands so understand that no discussion further discussion needed right so I've given away over the past two and a half years tons of stuff because I want to not because I have to all right, so hopefully if you guys get in a position where you can do the same, I encourage you, but it's up to you. All right, so we're going to rinse. And rinse it off really well. I'm going to put some, got a little weeper action going here. Just a tiny bit. Work that in really well. Okay, this used to be a jumble Pinot Clubman, and now look at it. <laughs> this is his last use when it gets to the point where it's getting trouble to hold it. You know, I think I have three or four more of these brand new, so I buy them in packs of three or four, and it lasts me. <laughs> the, this one lasts me, I think, two years or so plus, whatever. Um, so, all right, rub that in. I'm going to chuck that, all right? All right, excellent result. Bevel disposable. Made from, um, uh, hay straw, I think it's hay straw or something like that. But it's decomposable, except for the blades. And, uh. You were in a Troy to, I saw someone take this cap off and replace the blade and we'll see, we'll see how, if it works or not. I, I can't really see how it'll work, but yeah, I can't, but regardless, whatever it, it does, did a great job. It's yeah. What can I say? Yeah, it's light, but it doesn't feel light on this. You know, when you, some razors like, you know, it's like, wow, this is really light. And it feels that way, but this doesn't. This feels nice and solid. Comes with a cap for travel, which is great. So just take this and block this, okay, on your, on your towel. Once you do that, make sure the cap is dry and then you can snap it right on, ready for next use. Um, excellent. MVP, Germ Dude, illegal shave cream, okay, is what it is. And uh, for non-brushless, this is one of the better ones I've tried. Among others, check it out germdew.com all right so we'll rinse this you want to rinse that rinse that uh styptic pencil off of your face after the bleeding stops all right or whatever just take it to the towel all right and then we're going to will come in rightly with the Thayer's Coconut Mist. Calming the skin. It's excellent. Okay, we're getting down a bit low, but we have plenty more that I've ordered. All right. All right, so we've applied our Thayer's 
Oh, by the way, we'll put this away on our shelf here. Excellent. And what you can do is you can, after a minute, you can rinse this if you want. Dry quickly with the towel. And we're gonna go with the, the Nivea Fresh Kick. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the bomb first, just to show you guys you can do it any way you want before or after the aftershave. I'm gonna do it before because some of you guys, I get it, you don't like the severe sting of the alcohol aftershave. Apply the bomb first, all right? You don't need that much, but work it in, all right? Nice, fresh scent, excellent. Nivea, always a great choice. No matter what your product you're using, work it in, all right? Once that's in, all right, wash your hands. Okay, and I'm doing it bomb first, aftershave second, because some of you guys, like I said, don't like the sting, and that's fine. You have your Nivea Fresh Kick, and the aftershave, you shake it really well. All right, get everything mixed up and has a restrictor here. We're just gonna apply a little bit and on the face and it greatly reduces the sting. Okay, so do it this way um, if you don't like the sting. It may sting a little bit, but not nearly as much. Okay, so. Rinse the hands. All right. Okay, guys, this has been great. You can see the results. Awesome. Great Thursday evening shave. And uh, yeah, I know it's been a while. There's things that has been <laughs> happening and uh, takes away from our game a little bit, but we're back. You know, it doesn't last too long. Thank you for joining me. As always, see Inspector. Hope you've enjoyed the shave. Encourage you to get your great shaves in. And we will be seeing you uh, sometime over this weekend. Until then, have a great night, guys.